Hi, I'm Sol Rogers. I run uh, Rewind Effects in that marketing and animation company based in St. Louis. Uh, Rewind Effects uh, was founded about three years ago we were in traditional marketing, so post-production, TV commercials, animation, that sort of thing. And over the last year and a half, we've got really heavily into interactive and immersive content and even experiential, so building stands for, uh, for, uh, for agencies, for brands, for clients alike, but all of it based around 3D animation and interactivity. So um, we just finished one for Red Bull Air Race, which is a stand which allows people to put on the Oculus Rift, the VR headset, and allow people to sit in the plane and take a flight with the world um, champion from last year, exactly how he's going to be doing it in August. The brand leader is the Oculus Rift, which is one of these top-end headsets. It's beautifully built. It is an early development. There's more coming. The next one comes out, and that's the high end. And people will have these in their homes going forward. But there will be more head-mounted displays, which allow people to engage with the content in different ways. Um, one really interesting one is this one, which is a Kickstarter project called the Alter Gaze. Um, it's completely 3D printed, um, including the rubber sills and um, it's very cheap to make. It's a completely open, open hardware project, so if you have a 3D printer, you can print your own one. But the clever thing is that it has no electronic parts. What it uses is um, a mobile phone. In this case, it's using an iPhone 5. It docks in the front of it and allows people then to engage using the gyro to look into that world and see it. With this Air Race project, we took all the, our gaming technology know-how and made it so that the brand created a piece of content uh, which can be given out to anyone with a VR headset to allow them to experience it and they have ownership over their content. So it's everything that was good about creating a promo film or uh, a behind the scenes but even more. So it basically gives people a deeper understanding, a deeper connection with the brand. More people should be creating their content not only being web ready, iPhone, app, tablet, but they're going to have to look at making things VR ready. So everything we create currently, we always plan for it to come out and be virtual reality ready. It's very easy to do something which has a gimmick, a wow factor. I'm making an Oculus Rift virtual reality project, but the actual user's experience is the key. If, if the user has a go with it and gets off the thing and didn't have a good time, didn't engage with your content, it's just the same as having bad content anywhere else in the world. You know, you don't want a badly shot video on your YouTube channel. It needs to be quality content. And from that, it's just understanding the narrative is different. Interactive narrative is not the same as um, traditional linear narrative. And VR is one step beyond that again. So everything we, had, we knew about cinematography has to change because the user has the ability to look where they want. They can engage with the content they want and experience it in a different way, which has its positive because people have a longevity, they're back at the content thing again, but it has its negatives as well, that you won't be able to drive their, that person's point of view. I could be deciding to look directly at camera right now, or I could be looking back there because I've decided to. And that doesn't, that's, that's no choice because the user has the ability to, in virtual reality, choose where they look. And that's the freeing thing, but also the interesting bit that brands have to understand.